All right, what you should have out currently are your notes, how to write a lab report. Focus of this video is going to be on the introduction. Okay, when you are asked to put together uh, an introduction, a lot of times people like to write the introduction last. The reason why they like to write it last uh, after they perform the entire experiment is they'll have a better understanding uh, of what was actually accomplished uh, and have a better sense of the actual purpose. Although the introduction, when you are putting together a lab report, it is actually found to be written as the second portion. So in order, the title comes first, the introduction comes second. But that doesn't mean you have to write it in that sequence. The section, the purpose of this, is to provide the reader, whoever's looking at and reading your lab report, with background information. Background information is literally just a, a quick understanding of what it is that you did in this lab. So again, you're giving a written uh, document that will provide background information to give an understanding of why the lab was performed and what the overall purpose was of the lab. So as an example, your background information, if you're running a, a lab uh, about ice, so we can give an example with ice. And let's say we want to give a background information regarding how quickly it melts. So let's just say it's ice melt time. The purpose of the lab maybe was to figure out does ice melt faster in maybe warm water versus cold water. And the understanding of why the lab was performed was you wanted to learn which of these was going to actually melt ice faster. So in that, you literally give your quick assessment uh, and your results and what you found. So example, introduction could go like, uh, does ice melt faster in warm water or cold water uh, was the focus or purpose of the lab. We found that, well, then you continue to include all the information about what you found throughout your lab. And then that will be used later on when you go to write your hypothesis and then your procedures and then include it in your results and conclusion that we'll be talking about the next few days.